in this lecture, we are going to get into Pidoko. Um, we're now at the phase where we're building the skeleton of our wireframe. Now remember, we're still in the low fidelity wireframe section. Now we're getting into some of the heavier tools. I'm introducing you to um, I think what I think is the best wireframing tool because of its feature set. Later we're going to talk about Balsamic, but right now we're just going to focus on Pidoko. This lecture, I'm just going to introduce you to how it works. You know, roughly where do you find your pages? How do you edit your canvas? Um, just trying to get oriented with it. You're not going to learn anything substantial, but the point of this lecture is that by the end of it, you should be able to open up Pidoko and be perfectly fine with what you run into and not just get in there and spend hours trying to tinker around. I'm going to show you what you need to know. All right, let's go to the screencast. Okay, so let me show you Pidoko and give you a very basic kind of overview of how you would get into the service and how you would um, use it to make your rapid prototypes or to make your wireframes. Now, keep in, uh, keep in mind I'm picking this because it's the most versatile of the wireframing prototyping tools out there. Um, there's other ones that are better in certain categories. This is the best because it has the best feature set. Now, you can sign up with a free trial. Um, the 30 day price is not particularly expensive. I think it's only like $12. Um, but you can also do a free trial without a credit card so you can try it out for 30 days. Again, if you like something else out there, it's perfectly fine. Um, it's helpful to sign up if you wanna follow along on um, this, these lectures. Uh, but at the same time, whatever I'm teaching you in Pudoko, it's pretty much valid with any other one, um, any other prototyping or wireframing tool. They all kind of use the same techniques and the same basic kind of understandings. Um, so you would just sign up by giving them your email address, but I've already signed up. So what you generally just do is you go to my prototypes. Okay. So they'll hit you up to sign up, but here we are. So, um, basically it just works like any other web service. I can create a web prototype, create a mobile prototype, and then I can create a project folder if I want to be able to store my prototypes together. Um, they use prototype as a generic term, meaning whatever, basically it means that you can add interactions, you can add um, basic designs, um, and you can make it, um, easy, you can easily move from page to page. Um, but you can also make a low fidelity wireframe through this tool, same exact process. So um, the difference between creating a web and a mobile uh, is that it's automatically going to start you off with what they call stencils. So in Balsamic, they're literally just called like elements. Um, in this, they call them stencils. And a stencil is just any type of element that you would use to show a button, show a page, show a box, show text. Those are all stencils. Um, they give you a different stencil set immediately, but you can always access both stencil sets. Um, and then with mobile, they start you off with um, a smaller screen. So they automatically uh, put the screen or the canvas size to what your wireframe should be. That's helpful because you don't want to have to like look up you know, exactly what the resolution for your mobile app is. Keep in mind, this doesn't actually um, work for every single mobile um, in the sense that, you know, a Samsung Galaxy One is a different size than an iPhone 4. It's just going to start you off with a generic size.